Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'll be talking about the new AI framework or the AI chatbot, whatever you want to call it, uh, that has been released. It's called ChatGPT and it's extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, not only it can answer you some basic questions about uh, explain quantum computing and all that stuff, but it can actually even write code for you. So as an iOS developer or as a developer in general, you might be really interested to see uh, the real powers of ChatGPT and how maybe this can be the future of search. And maybe in the future it can, you know, even replace Google and Stack Overflow and everything. Now, this particular video that I'm recording is not really rehearsed or anything. So I just wrote down a couple of things and I'm going to ask the ChatGPT, all right? The URL for that is chat.openai.com slash chat. And we can go ahead and start with some basic stuff. All right. What is Swift UI? Okay. There you go. All right. That's uh, actually pretty good. You know, the Swift UI. Uh, compare Swift UI versus Swift UI kit. Now, keep in mind that. I have not re never really asked this question before, so I'm not really sure what it's going to tell us, but uh, there we go. It's actually give us really descriptive answer, which is really cool. Okay, so now let's go to the fun part. Let's say that if we want to create a Swift UI view and actually want to see the code. So let's see, create a login view in Swift UI. And by the way, it doesn't really only work with Swift UI. You can use React and other languages. You can try. But since most of the audience is Swift UI or iOS developer, that's why I'm just using Swift UI. Okay, create a login view in Swift UI with username and password fields. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's actually pretty impressive. You can see that it's actually writing it out, all of it. Not only it's writing it out, but it's also explaining what exactly is going on. So it's created a login view with username and password and all that stuff, all right? Can you add validation to the login view? Okay, so it's trying to do it again, I guess. And this time it is actually creating some basic validation. We can see the validation errors and now it's adding some validation over here, right inside the view. Wow, You're very, very impressive, right? Now let's go ahead and say, can you write a view model for login view? I don't really create view models like that, but if you are using MVVM framework, then it's actually going to write a view model for you. Wow, very impressive that it's able to do that. Not only it's able to do that, but it can also, it's explaining also that what it is trying to do. You can see the comments over there and you can definitely see that it's using also. So not only it created the view model, which is right over here, but it is also showing you how you can use the view model in the login view, all right? You can add different things. Uh, can you add authentication? Okay, so now it's going to give you some code for authentication. Um, again, this is not really rehearsed, so I'm not really sure what it's going to type. Uh, it's at least trying to, well, yeah, so it's doing some sort of authentication. Some it seems like maybe JWT or something, but I don't think it actually did any authentication. You can see that it has the view model. Um, it did pass something. It, I guess it got the token, so I guess it's trying to do that JWT authentication, but obviously we don't really have the server part, uh, but it's showing you at least some code, all right? Can you write code to rotate a view in Swift UI indefinitely? Wow, interesting. So now it's gonna write a rotating view and that is going to, well, indefinitely, it's going to just repeat forever, 
very, very cool and very, very impressive that what you can do with the open API. Uh, extremely, extremely impressive. And uh, yeah, you can, I mean, you can use React and I guess you can use other languages also. I haven't really tried it, but what I've tried, I find it extremely impressive. So definitely go ahead, go to chat.openai.com slash chat and try it out. Um, now, I would not encourage you to copy paste the code and do that. Um, you can definitely use it for a reference. I think there are certain situations that I would write the code a little bit differently. So those are on your cases, but I think those are on case by case basis. But I think it's definitely a very good tool for research, very good tool to see some small snippets of code that, okay, this is how you rotate. So now you know the rotation effect and animation, you can use those modifiers. So that's all, all really good. And uh, definitely use it and try to see that what you can learn from the tool itself um, and try to utilize it in your application. Don't copy paste the code, obviously, but I guess try to learn it if you want to learn about observable object or environment object, uh, like these kind of things. What is environment object in Swift UI? So there we go. So environment object is a property wrapper, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to, you know, you know, type out all of those things. It's even going to give you kind of like an example of the environment object, which is kind of crazy, right? So that's actually pretty cool that it's able to do all of that stuff. And now you can go ahead and read all of that stuff. I think it's really extremely, extremely impressive. All right. So check it out, chat.openai.com slash chat and check out the OpenAI chat GPT. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of courses on SIF UI, Combine, and even my brand new course on MV design pattern, the way that Apple is building their apps. So check out my courses. The link will be right there in the description. Thank you so much, and I really hope that you enjoy the courses.